What's up guys? It's Chase here today. We're going on YouTube to do an oil change. We've got ourselves some Motor X oil. We've got ourselves the filter. We've got ourselves a screen and a drain plug. If you go online and you find yourself a 401 oil change kit, it will give you everything that you need except for an 18 mil and an 8 mil. One is going to be for the oil filter and one is going to be for the drain plug that's going to set you up with everything that you need. Additionally, you can use a uh, sheet of aluminum foil to cover your exhaust. Uh, it just kind of makes cleanup a lot easier. That way you're not burning off that oil that's going to drip onto your exhaust once you actually open up that drain. You can also use a Mobile One 1550 should you not be able to get the Moto Rex product of Switzerland that they recommend for the KTMs as well as the Husqvarna's. So you can use your aluminum foil to drape over the exhaust. It's going to help you protect that from all the oil falling onto the exhaust and ultimately burning off later, giving you that horrible smell. And fun fact, you can use a dog bowl for an oil drain. So that works should you need an oil drain and don't have one and might have a dog. Your oil drain is located on your left side of the bike, just below the engine or on the engine, I should say, but right at the bottom of it. And you're gonna wanna break that free with the 18 mil socket and ratchet that you have, or in this case, a ratcheting wrench. Either one works, uh, or even a non-ratcheting wrench. Whatever 18 mil you have, you can get that off easily. Tyler was smart enough to put the tin foil underneath the bowl rather than in the bowl, so all that extra oil is now leaking onto his floor. Don't do that, put it in the bowl. It'll make your, uh, your life a lot easier. What are you telling that? Inside the oil drain, you can grab it with needle nose pliers if you have it. There is actually a screen in there. You'll want to take that out to clean it. I mean, you don't necessarily have to, but if you're doing a proper oil change, you'll see on the end there, if you look really closely, there's metal shavings. These actually have a magnet in them to catch any residual metal that might go through your system. And it just helps keep everything safe. So I definitely would recommend taking this out. You already have your oil drain plug out anyways. So take this out, clean it, yeah, look at all that stuff. You don't want that. So clean it out, you're already in there, and then replace it just like you took it out. Just kind of pop it back in there. Here is a difference between a new oil screen and an old one. You can see the one is slightly discolored, but uh, both are still plenty good to use. Once you clean it off, it's totally fine. And what I would say to do is once you actually pull out your old one, you can clean it with a soft rag or water as well. But the big thing is make sure you completely let that dry. You do not want to put water into your engine oil. Don't be dumb. Don't do that. You will wreck your engine and you will wreck your day. Don't do it. Okay, now that you have a clean screen from your oil drain, you can go ahead and put the new one or your uh, clean one back in. And you just push it in like that. You will feel it's got a little bit of a, a push and then it kind of pops into place once it hits the gasket. And then you just follow that up with the drain plug behind it. Go ahead and run the drain plug back on by hand and kind of get it snug. And then you can go ahead and torque it down uh, or use your wrench and or socket if you don't have a torque wrench. Tyler doesn't torque his stuff, so I'll give you the torque specs here. Should you want to torque it down yourself like I would, you're going to want to torque the 18 millimeter drain plug to about 11 foot pounds. On the right side of the bike, you'll find two bolts on the oil filter housing. They are eight millimeter. You're gonna to wanna to loosen those. As you start to loosen them, the filter housing may crack open. So make sure you have your oil drain uh, pan, or in this case, our dog bowl, directly underneath the engine such that you can catch that oil that comes out. And in there, you're gonna have your filter. So go ahead and let that drain a little bit. So needle nose pliers might be your friend on this. If you just grab a side of it and kind of yank it out as so, just let it fall down and then you can let that drain a little bit. Go ahead and tilt the bike back over to the side that you're draining. That'll help you get any excess oil out of there. The idea obviously is to get most of the old engine oil out as much as you can so that you're not essentially contaminating your new oil that you're putting in. It is important to make sure you wipe down the housing and the flange itself because you're not gonna want oil residue on there. It could potentially uh, create a leak down the road or not let your 
uh, oil gasket kind of sit freely in there. And do the same for the actual cover as well. The filter that we are going to use is a KN155. That is the KN version of the factory Spark Pillion uh, oil filter. And that is what it looks like. When you put this in, super important that you put the gasket side forward. When you put that in, you are going to feel a little bit of a pop and that will tell you that it physically is seated in there. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you line up the bolt holes on your outside of the flange that goes on to hold that in place. And then just kind of press it on. Sometimes it may actually stay on without the bolts, but sometimes you have to kind of hold it in place as you're putting the bolts in. For the oil filter housing bolts, the eight millimeter bolts that hold those on, those are going to be torqued to 7.5 or seven and a half foot pounds. There is a gasket on the inside of this uh, filter cap, if you wanna call it that. And you wanna make sure you inspect that. In the kit, you will have a new gasket. I do recommend changing it every time. Some people do like to keep the gasket on for a couple oil changes. If you are one of those people, totally fine. Just make sure that you do not have any sort of cracking or anything on that gasket. If you do, always replace it. I always recommend just to do it knowing that you're already in there anyways. It's better to be safe than sorry. You're gonna wanna take off the oil filler cap and this is where you're gonna wanna place a funnel unless you are the <laughs> most expertise oil filler ever, definitely get a funnel. You don't wanna cake your engine and then your exhaust and everything else in oil. Specifications recommend 1.7 to 1.8 liters of 1550 weight oil. Obviously you're gonna have the debate of full synthetic versus hybrid or conventional. I'll leave that up to you guys, but as long as you have the right weight, that's kind of what's most important about this. And don't be dumb and fill your oil funnel too high because then it's going to gurgle and go all over the place again. You'll notice that there is an oil sight glass on the bottom of the right side of the bike. You want to go ahead and level the bike and make sure you're at least somewhere in there. When you do start the bike, you'll notice that oil level drops a little bit. So I would recommend starting the bike for maybe 30 seconds, stopping and then rechecking that oil level to make sure you didn't over or underfill it. 